does it great. Absolutely, and you know, they work really hard. They've come all the way from Ballarat. It's a long, long trip for them. They've been working really hard. I used to work with some of this crew for the uh, music, um, the Future Musics program, I think it was, in Ballarat, and uh, they always rocked on. They are always full of new ideas. They're great. Thanks for coming all the way from Ballarat. It's great. Thank you. Okay, this is a, um, a nice little groove at Raw House. Um, firstly, thank you to 303 for having us here. This has been a really long gig. It took three months simply because we had it all organised for the Carney at Carney, but unfortunately most of you probably know Carney closed down, which is really, really sad, and let's hope that Carney, the fabulous space out at Carney, doesn't end up in ruins and doesn't end up uh, being replaced by, you know, uh, three or four storey apartments so um, you know it's a real pity but anyway we were going to be at Kearney and uh, it was closed down but fabulously um, the 303 put us on put it together for 303 and venues like this that support what we do can we just put it together for the 303 I think it's great you know it's really hard sometimes to do what we do and to be available at mainstream gigs so um you know, it's really good. I just want to... Um, <laughs> That's Anne. Yeah, you rock! Yeah, thanks Anne. And you rock on the drums, girl. Yeah, you do. Um, welcome to Raw House. I don't know, most of you probably know what Raw House is about. We've been around since July 06. Um, basically, uh, we're, uh, we're about sort of uh, connecting communities and um, we started a long time ago, <laughs> feels like a long time ago, we've had over 45 gigs and um, our stages reflect cultural diversity and difference and that's what we're about. We're proactive and um, we're about supporting all artists of all abilities from all communities including people that are marginalised, disadvantaged or challenged with uh, mental health issues. We like to provide stages like this in mainstream Venues, it's about bringing margins to the mainstream. And we have terrific people supporting us, from emerging artists to well-established artists, from people like yourselves that come here that actually want to see something different because it's grassroots and it's real and it's relevant. And that's what we do. We work really hard at doing that and we really appreciate you being here. And I think my mic is gone. Oh my God, we're getting knocked around on stage. God, they're tough, these roadies. Give it a hand for the roadies. Woo! They work really hard. Um, yeah, so we are grassroots. We have open mic regular gigs over at the SP, and we run special events like this. Um, we, we, we work a model that provides a space where people can come and work on their art and, uh, and really develop it, and then we run special events that takes their art to the next level. We about, we're about appreciating all art forms. Uh, no artist is denied and no styles excluded at Raw House. Um, I guess Raw House essentially, and I'll get off the mic in a minute, is about relevance, it's about accessibility, it's about inclusion, it's about social justice, it's about equality and it's about equal opportunity and that's what we try to do here. Sometimes it's difficult to bring the margins to the mainstream and vice versa, but it's always about supporting your peers that come from all sorts of uh, backgrounds. Um, it's about the art and it's about culture and it's about having a voice and it's about having the right to use that voice. Um, I'm, I'm, that's, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. We've got an MC tonight who is a magic, fantastic, very creative young man who's been supporting us since we started Raw House. Um, and just, just to introduce the guys behind me, Leonard and special guest, I didn't quite catch, catch his name, but they've, uh, they've been at Raw House before. We love what they do. They're on the grassroots of it all down at Smith Street. I think they're great. And I reckon they really represent what we do here. Um, and, and, and I've just asked them to come up on stage and support me opening the show and I love what they do and thanks to the guys behind us for supporting us. Um, I want to bring our, our MC to the stage, um, Mr. Rupert 
Owens, who's looking uh, very interesting. Uh, we might let the guys play on for a couple of minutes. Rupert's going to say some words, and then we're going to have them play again. But first of all, the diverse, the subversive, the virtuoso of vice, Mr. Rupert Owen! Thank you very much. I'd just like to say that if anyone is interested in catching the Funky Turtles down the track, they will be playing at the Eureka Stockade and at Urella. And also, you can buy or purchase, I assume, their CD out of their shells. So if you were funky with a tortoise, or the tortoise, the tortoise, the tortoise, the turtle, then please approach them for further details on what they're doing. Now, tonight at Raw House, yes, I see everything in 3D because Raw House is about diversity and played is the new Tartan. Right, before Leonard and his special guests take over and produce the very vibratory, amazing and fantastical sounds that you've all been waiting for. I like to say that I bring to you the humble dictionary because there is a campaign happening at the moment throughout the world to uh, bring back some of the words that are facing extinction. And I'd like to turn to page, I've got it noted here, I ripped a page out to note a page in the dictionary and I'll be using a word between each act. And the first word that I'll be using tonight will be in cult. Now in cult means rude. Now if something is very rude, you may say that it is in cult. And I am fairly in cult at times. So ladies and gentlemen, in cult is the word before we have the next act, which is Leonard and his special guest. And the second thing that I would like to mention before we start, is that it takes 3,000 cows to supply the leather for a year's supply of footballs. So don't tell me that sport is an environmentally friendly, animal friendly exercise. 3,000 cows per football. I think I got that right somewhere. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let us begin with Leonard and his special guest. Oh, hang on a minute. Hello? Yes? No? Shut up, popcorn! Shut up, popcorn! <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Funky Turtles. They just came back to me in a flash. A big round of applause for Lennon and his special guests! <laughs> Thank you. 